welcome back to my channel and today's video is going to be how to prep your skin for flawless foundation application. Um, this was one of the most difficult things I think for me to master when I first started getting into makeup. I always compared myself to the beauty gurus and just these flawless photos that I would see on Instagram and social media and YouTube and I could never really understand why I had such a tough time getting my skin to look smooth and flawless and poreless like so many of these beauty gurus. So after tons and tons and tons of research and watching YouTube videos, it came down to just one bottom line and that is just how we prep our skin and how we prepare our skin skin for makeup. So I figured there has to be other people out there who are struggling with this like I did. So why don't I make a video on it? Um, especially because I feel like I really have come a long way. I get tons of compliments on how great my skin looks. And it's so funny because the intention of even implementing a skincare routine into my life was for makeup, for was for flawless foundation. And it just ultimately ended up working wonders on my skin. So I really just want to share that with you guys. Um, so first things first, I totally get the whole, I don't use liquid foundation, it makes me break out thing. And I just learned that that's a myth. Liquid foundation does not make you break out. I was guilty. I used to think of, I used to think the same thing. What causes you to break out is putting liquid foundation on dirty skin. So first things first, one, you have to have to clean your skin. If you walk away from learning anything from this video is you need to have a skincare routine. You know, even if your skin doesn't look dirty, um, it certainly is. Even if you're not one who breaks out and doesn't feel the need to have a skincare routine, trust me, in the long term, you're gonna be grateful that you implemented one. And I am gonna kind of address multiple skin types in this video. I am particularly oily, so a lot of my regimen caters to that, caters to me being oily. But in the winter months, I do get dry. So I am going to show you kind of some alternate options of products that you could use if your skin is more dry, kind of all year round, or if you're like me, seasonally, your skin can be a little bit oily or a little bit more dry. So first things first, however you clean your skin, Cleanser is number one. Um, if you're one, if you're like me and you shower at night, so you don't always shower in the morning, it's still important to clean your skin night and morning. So if you wake up in the morning and you already cleaned your skin the night before, you still have to clean it the next morning. Um, just because our pillowcases do hold like just dead skin cells, our skin produces oils. If you have things sitting on your skin from the night before, kind of want to start fresh. So the first thing I do is I grab micellar water. So I use the one by Garnier Skin Active. It's micellar cleansing water. It does come in a variety of options. And I just take this on cotton pads. And usually I take two until I see like there's less and less dirt. And it's kind of amazing when you go in with the cotton pads and you see just how much dirt is sitting on your skin and you take that off. It feels good, it makes your skin feel good, um, and it's really just like getting that initial layer of just dirt and grime and oils off of your skin. So no matter what type of skin you have, cleanser is number one. Um, so again, go in with a cleanser, go in with the cleansing water. Um, so yeah, cleanse your skin, number one. Number two is you definitely wanna go in with a toner. So I personally use the Clinique Clarifying Lotion. I know it says Clarifying Lotion on it, um, but it is essentially just a toner and I do take this on a cotton pad as well. Kind of just swipe this all over my face. So the, so the way I did kind of circular motions to cleanse with the micellar water, with the toner, I'm just kind of kind of swipe this on my face and you're gonna be amazed to see how much more dirt and grime comes off on the cotton pad. Um, even though you already use like two cotton pads after my cellar, it's like pretty amazing. That just goes to show how deep our pores really can get and how much crap gets in there. And then after I use that toner by Clinique, I like to go in with the Mario Badescu. It's a facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water. This is good for just like hydration. It calms your skin. It's essentially another toner, but it's not as harsh a toner as the Clinique one. The Clinique one is specifically for like clarifying and cleansing and exfoliating, whereas this one's more hydrating and more calming for your skin. It smells like roses. It really does make my skin feel good. It's refreshing and it is hydrating. So I do believe if you're 
your dry the clarifying lotion or the toner by Clinique you may not want to use daily I can get away with using a toner daily because I'm currently oily in the drier months though you want to tone back a little toner can tend to be drying especially if it has clarifying benefits and things like that the Mario Badescu one though however you can use it every single day it's not harsh it's hydrating and it's good for your skin so you really do have to like analyze and assess your skin it does change seasonally and this does kind of take trial and error to see how your skin reacts and responds to certain things um, so what works for me they may not work for you so I'm just kind of sharing the products that I use but if you use other products that essentially do similar things as long as you're doing something to prep your skin you're golden so after the Mario Badescu facial spray dries you're gonna want to go in with um, a serum so the way it works in skincare is you always want to work with the more thicker heavier products and then you kind of want to get to like the more thinner um, like not as thick products or not as creamy products again this is also contingent on what your skin is going through so the one that I share with you guys is this Makeup Forever Ultra HD Skin Booster this is specifically for hydrating benefits I love using this in the winter time my skin is really dry there are tons of, there are tons of other serums literally any serum though I'm just showing you the order in which you do things any serum that you use you don't even have to use a serum honestly this is more like if you have redness in your skin there are calming serums that help with calming down the redness if you're dry if you're oily serums are very targeted and very purposeful so if you have skin concerns um, you may consider you know looking into a serum go to Sephora go to a clinic counter something like that and they'll educate you on what is better for your skin um, so then after you let the serum sit in your skin and you let your serum dry, that is also really key. Don't just layer and layer and layer products, you know, kind of let them sit, kind of let them dry, let them do their job. Okay, so after serum, you do want to go in with a moisturizer. So it's going to be serum, moisturizer, and then primer. Um, so the moisturizer that I've been currently using is by Clinique also it's the dramatically different moisturizing gel it says it's for combination oily to oily skin so again a lot of these things are gonna tell you exactly what skin type they're best for so I grabbed this one because it says combination oily to oily and um, I let that sit into the skin too again that can go all over the face whatever moisturizer you're using even a moisturizer with SPF is really good all that jazz and then after moisturizer I do go on with an eye cream this is not a paid advertisement for Clinique but I did just pick up a ton of Clinique products so it is the Clinique all about eyes rich reduce says all about eyes rich reduces circles puffs that's not a really thought out sentence Clinique but anyway it's a really nice eye cream I love this eye cream it really does just work wonders it feels really creamy I definitely see um, it has reduced my under eye circles so putting eye cream on is one of the most important things you can do in your skincare routine the skin around our eyes is the most thin Skin we have on our face um, it's also the most sensitive so it's really important that we are putting um, cream on our eyes eye cream on our eyes day and night it also helps with makeup application if you want to do shadow um, it won't you know it's not gonna create patchiness like yeah patchiness with the shadows if you get dry patches uh, it'll help with the um, crow's feet so hydrating your eyes is really 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 important so it was serum moisturizer both for your eyes and your face and then we're gonna follow that with primer so I have been loving the cover FX blurring primer um, especially because I'm oily in my t-zone I tend to have larger pores which my skincare routine has actually done a really good job at minimizing the appearance of my pores but if you do have larger pores and you're oily like me this is a product that you're only gonna put in your t-zone primers aren't always intended to be all over the face especially on something like a blurring primer I share with you guys the um, the makeup forever step one skin equalizer it's also a smoothing primer it essentially does the same thing the cover FX one does they honestly feel the same to me too so those are like I kind of go back and forth between those two products um, but yeah so that would only go in your t-zone now if you're really dry I really do love the hangover primer by Too Faced it has um, coconut water probiotics and it 
says it's uh, probiotic base and skin revivers. So this is something you can put all over your face because again, in the winter months, I tend to be drier all over my face. Um, so that's something you can put all over your face. Now, I feel like I shouldn't have to mention this, but obviously make sure that you're, you know, cleaning your hands, sanitizing your hands before you go into any of the products that require you using your hands. Um, I always have hand sanitizer on my vanity. I always have one in my bag. I'm always hand sanitizing because we're constantly Constantly touching things constantly touching you know money or purses or phones things like that and the worst thing you can do is go in with all of these products after you've just cleansed your face with dirty hands so I don't feel like I have to mention that but in case it's something that slips your mind I always have a Purell close by um so yeah after your skin is cleaned it is hydrated it is primed it is ready for foundation i really 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 love to go in with a beauty sponge a beauty blender whatever because you know after you've laid out all these products on your skin i just like that it's like seeped into my pores it's sitting on my skin and then just applying foundation right on top of my skin it feels gentler um and it just feels like it's not disturbing everything i just did it just you know puts it on nice and evenly puts it on nice and gently um, the sponge is also damp so it feels moist it feels hydrating so it is my favorite way to apply my foundation I do find that I get a much more even full coverage application when I use a sponge and obviously the foundation that you use is critical and key to depending on what you're trying to achieve I've been recently loving the Beauty Blender bounce foundation it's just been really really amazing i've actually been really impressed with it um so with the combination of using this very full coverage long wearing foundation with the beauty sponge i have just found that my skin looks super super flawless obviously there are other foundations that you'll get the same outcome i'm just giving you my personal recommendation you guys know i love the dior forever and the the Too faced born this way foundation those are like my top three really makes my skin look super amazing and flawless and healthy and glowy and I get tons of compliments whenever I wear those three foundations so those are just like go-to products um, but then after you've done foundation and you do your concealer bam, looks like this it looks great it looks flawless so after you've done concealer then you do your bronzer your highlight your blush last but not least throw on that setting spray which really 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 is what melts all those powders and the creams together and it really just takes your skin to the next level I love this morphe setting spray the continuous setting spray it's really really good I love that it just kind of sprays continuously and I don't have to keep pushing the little pump so after you've done that throw on some mascara throw on some gloss bam you're all done so if you guys want to see how I get the finished product this finished look I did upload my everyday makeup routine my go-to everyday makeup routine before this video that is essentially what I did on my face today again substituting just a couple products like the lip product and the highlight I use but the overall routine is the same um, I will link that in the video so you guys can watch that if you haven't had a chance to do so but yeah guys this is how I get my flawless foundation routine this is how you prep your skin before applying foundation this is how you prep your skin before any product honestly before any foundation before even if you use powder foundation people think that just because they use powder they're less likely to break out again it's all in your skincare so just make sure you're implementing a skincare routine again if there was anything you got out of this video is skincare 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 and eye cream if you have any questions about anything i talked about in this video please leave it in the comments below i love interacting with you guys i love answering your questions um what else what else Please give this video a thumbs up if you thought it was helpful. If you intend to implement my routine into your routine, please subscribe if you have not already. Your support and subscriptions mean the world to me. Follow me on Instagram. Um, if you don't know what my handle is or whatever, I'll put it here in the video. Please give me a follow. But yeah, that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!